Okay, good day everyone. Pasay Baller here. This is now the sixth game for today, March 1st, 2023. This is the game between Memphis Grizzlies and Houston Rockets that will happen at around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe buttons below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given is minus 9.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, the Memphis Grizzlies. And let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams, both belonging to the Western Conference, by the way. Memphis Grizzlies, they are at number 2, with a record of 37 wins and 23 losses. While for Houston Rockets, they are dead last at number 15, having a record of 13 wins and 48 losses. Right, Houston Rockets, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, well, we can just skip that part because both teams played last night anyway. So both teams must be uh, feeling a bit tired and their legs uh, must be, you know, must be wary and tired on this particular game. Um, in terms of momentum though, that's kind of obvious. We got to give it to Memphis Grizzlies approaching this game. Grizzlies got back-to-back -back wins, but man, Houston Rockets approaching this game, they are on a 10-game losing slump. That's such a slump, if you know what I'm saying. Now, if you take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams, um, Denver, um, I'm sorry, not Denver, Memphis, uh, they still wouldn't have Steven Adams. Um, and a, a Jake would be on a questionable status. That's right. Uh, while for Houston Rockets, Kevin Porter Jr. and Jay Sean Tate are both listed as questionable. I would have to say that um, there's a slight advantage for Houston Rockets down here because Steven, Steven Adams is, is still confirmed out as compared to their situation wherein Kevin Porter Jr. and Jason Tate uh, got the possibility of them joining uh, on, th on this particular game. I'm going to make this one quick. I'm, I'm giving up on Houston Rockets. <laughs> um, I love Houston Rockets. I guess that's kind of obvious, right? I love Houston Rockets. Um, I love the the talent and the uh, the talent that they have in the Jalen Green, Kevin Porter Jr. Um, uh, but man, they just lack people. Uh, their secondary unit is too too shallow, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't know what their plan is. Uh, they don't look like tanking, but uh, the 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 what I'm gonna call this what's going on seems like they are if you know what I'm saying so um, I'm giving up on them I, I feel like they can actually cover the spreads of uh, of mo most of the most of their games just like how they were doing uh, last season but I don't know maybe they, may maybe they have already given up to the season and if they have given up in the season I guess it's kind of wrong if I would still ho hold on to them right and Memphis Grizzlies they are starting to um to feel bl uh, to, to smell blood they're starting to build momentum approaching the playoffs so I feel like uh, Memphis Grizzlies uh would actually win this one easily not only that cover the spread of minus 9.5 so let's go with Memphis minus 9.5 Grizzlies minus 9.5 Peace out, pass I love, and God bless.